Alex Rodriguez will dig in here. Took a called third strike his first time. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Now a foul tip that's held onto at the plate, and the count moves to one and two now. He's closing in on putting up yet another zero. Here comes a 1-2. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. I think it's pretty simple. The message here is stop leaning out over the plate. A pitcher's got to be able to work inside, so that's just a reminder. And this is hit well towards the hole. And he loses the handle on the transfer, and that's going to allow the inning to continue. Mookie Betts will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Here he comes, 3-1. Boy, look at that thing dart. It's full now, 3-2. and two. And now, 3-2, two, two out. He'll be helped by the fact that that runner will get a head start out there. Here's the full count offering. Swing and a ball lied hard towards short. And a leap at short, but it's over his glove, and it could be extra bases. Rodriguez will take the turn and head for home. And a relay to the plate. And the runner will score from first. Three and two, he gets a head start over there at first base, and he's going to wind up paying dividends. He's able to come all the way around to score on the double. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Swing, hard hit ball to second. Throw over to Morneau is going to be in time, and with it, the side is retired. But the Pirates get a run here on the RBI double. Middle of the afternoon here on the west coast of Florida. It's now 1-0 Pittsburgh. Devin Mesoraco will stand in to start things out here in the home half of the fifth. And you get the sense, Steve, that this crowd's been pretty well taken out of the ballgame to this point. Yeah, they pretty much had to sit on their hands all afternoon. Not a lot to get excited about so far. And I think that's a credit to that man out there on the mound. He's cut right through this lineup for the first four innings. And he lays off a pitch off the plate and high, three and two. Luis Valbuena waits on deck. Swing and a miss, and he's got that strikeout pitch working now. That's three in a row for him as there's one away. Luis Valbuena will stand in. A line-out victim his first time. Luis oh, and he took something off of it there. It's one and two. Here's Greinke's 1-2. To two balls and two strikes now. Sets the 2-2 pitch. Now a swing and a ground ball picked up by A-Rod. Throw over to Ortiz, gets him two down. Still a little early to start talking about these things. There you go, right there. A big goose egg in that hit column. Worth keeping in mind as we get later into the afternoon. Greinke ready now. The 1-1. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Here comes the 1-2. This is popped up. And that may need to dodge the catwalks. It's way up there. Nunez is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. He's through five without allowing a hit. Five innings complete. Pirates on top, one to nothing. Zach Grinke will get the call to bat for himself here with his guys up a run here in the sixth. The 1-1 home. That's on the corner to put him behind now. One and two. Not too many strikeouts on the ledger for him so far, but it hasn't really mattered. Yeah, I think ideally you'd like to see him miss a few more bats, but as long as you're keeping guys off balance, you're letting your defense help you, you don't need to strike a ton of guys out to be successful. Here comes the 1-1. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. One run on three hits, and no errors so far for the Pirates. Here it comes, two and one. And this is hit hard on the ground towards short. 
throw in time at first for route number two. Eduardo Nunez will dig in now. Hitless in his two at bats so far. Here's the 1 1 pitch. Ball swung on and lifted in the air with some carry out towards left center. And that gets down, and we'll see if that's extra bases. And he's in there safely. He's got a double. Calm yourself already. David Ortiz will get an opportunity here in a run scoring spot now following the two out double. Now the one two home to Ortiz. And a swing and a miss is all he could do was reach out in vain for that one, and the side is retired. Freddie Galvis will be the batter as we get things going in the bottom of the sixth. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. A 2-1 offering. Now a swing and a sharp ground ball to third. And a throw on to first by A-Rod is in time, one away. Corey Kluber will try it again. He flew out his first time. Ready now on one and one. That's in there on the outer half, one and two now. Now the one-two. And a bouncing ball, foul. Here he comes again, one, two. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. Well, these are just extra pitches adding to your pitch count. I don't see why he wouldn't just go right after him. Oh, and he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. Omar Infante will dig in for the third time now. He struck out and bounced out in his first two trips. The 3 2 pitch. Fouled back. Next pitch will be an even 80 so far for Grinke. Full count offering on its way. And now a ball lifted into the air out towards center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Reds are down in order. It remains 1-0. Yasiel Puig will stand in here to start the seventh. EK, it's been a pitching and defense afternoon all throughout. Yeah, neither starter looking like he's ready to blink. Neither one of them looking all that tired just yet. 1-1 one, one on the way. And that's off his leg on the mound. And this is over the head of Morno at first. Here comes Brian Price now out of the Reds' dugout on his way to the mound. And we're going to have a pitching change as that's going to be off for his starter this afternoon. He'll leave after six and at the very least kept his club in it to this point. Dan Otero will get the assignment on the mound here as he'll enter with a runner at first and nobody out. Carlos Ruiz will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with a runner at first and nobody out. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. The right hander deals on one and two late on the fastball there as this one skied out toward right under it is Chu as he takes it in for the first out. One away here for the Bucks in their half of the seventh and in is the third baseman Alex Rodriguez.
Here's the two and one pitch home to A-Rod. To two and two now. And now the Reds are going to get the bullpen moving here. And it's a lefty and a right-handed up and throwing. And there he goes towards second. Swing and a miss strike three. The throw. Not in time as he steals second. Mookie Betts will step in with a big opportunity to get that insurance run home from second. Now the payoff pitch home. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. Shin Su Chu will stand in, and he, like so many others, hitless in the ballgame so far. Now the one and one pitch. And that is going to be their first hit as this is into center field for a solid single. Justin Morneau will stand in, and Steve, with the no-hitter gone now, he's got to remind himself he's still got work to do out there. Yeah, he sure does. This game is not over by any means. You've got to take any no-hitter thoughts and put those out of your mind and go back to focusing on the task at hand. Boy, and is the tide turning here? I think that's the real question at this point. It's a perfect start to the inning. You get the tying run up to second base. The go-ahead run is on first base as well. Still nobody out. And a decision looming here whether to bunt these guys up or try and roll the dice a little bit on this next guy and see if he can keep the rally going. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at one and two. And he struck him out. And there's the hat trick as that's his third strikeout of the ball game. Devin Mesoraco will try it again. He's grounded out and struck out in two trips. And he misses ball four. So now that potential tying run scoops up 90 feet to third base. Luis Valbuena will stand in now in one of the bigger at-bats of the ball game to this point as he'll do so with the bases loaded. And that key hit still hasn't shown up yet. Like you say, you've got the bases loaded. You just wonder how many more of these opportunities are you going to get? A big pitch here, one and two. And he's got another one here. 12 punch outs now in the ball game, and that'll end the inning. Josh Rutledge will get us going now in the top half of the eighth. 1-1 one, one pitch on the way. 1-2 and two is the changeup had him out in front there. Well, it's just game one of this series, but you almost have to wonder if they forgot to pack their offense when they got on the plane. It's been nowhere to be found so far. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Very tight ball game so far. one nothing the score as we take a look at our starter comparison, and both guys have given excellent performances to this point. Zach Grinke will stand in 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. The 1-1. One, one. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But a foul ball. One and two the count now. So one and two with one away. Here's a swing and a ground ball. And that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third. Christian Yelich will get another crack. One for three thus far. Now the three and zero oh offering. And oh no. Pray that didn't get him where it sounded like it got him. And now, fortunately, they will get an out here. So an unfortunate turn of events for him here is he's going to be forced to leave the game due to injury. And hopefully it's nothing that keeps him out of commission for too long. John Axford will be summoned now to take over following the injury. Now the 1-1. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw on to the first baseman Morno, and the inning is over. One left for Pittsburgh, but they lead it one to nothing. 